Hi, we're Shenandoah, and you're watching NPT, Nashville Public Television. Your home for Nashville stories. To hear yeah. music? Yeah. yeah. Oh, probably the my favorite place to hear music in Nashville, uh, Nashville is the Grand Ole Opry. I mean, it's the mother church of country music, you know. I'll never forget, we got to play the Grand Ole Opry back in, what, Marty, 1988, probably, when we first got started. Yeah, it was 88. And it never gets old going uh, to the Grand Ole Opry to hear music. Wow, that's, that's a tough one. That's a tough one right there. Somebody asked us about their favorite music video the other day, but I hadn't thought about uh, from a lyric stand, because there's so Nashville is a, a songwriting machine, you know, and uh, there's so many great songwriters that live. Now, it's hard to pick one song. There's, you know, I, I was telling somebody the other day that, uh, you know, when people pitch you songs, when you're getting ready to record a new album, everybody that sends you a song, if it came from Nashville, it's written by a professional songwriter. They know what they're doing, you know, so they're all good. Everything's good that comes yeah, out of Yeah, it's usually pretty good when it comes and to it's, it's kind of hard to be able to put your finger on that, that song because they're all so good. I'd love to collaborate with Hank Williams Sr. I mean, I still, I remember being a kid, I'm actually a drummer, that's what I do with the band, but I'm a songwriter too, and I play acoustic guitar, and the first songs that I ever learned to, to play and sing on acoustic guitar was Hank Williams' song. I was fascinated how he could yodel, cheat along, that kind of stuff, I loved it, it was awesome. I'd love to write with him. Uh, well, you know, I, I, you know, through the years, I've, I've had so many that I, that I liked a whole bunch. Uh, uh, and whether we're talking about deceased or, or still alive, if if it was still alive, I, I'd give anything in the world to to have the opportunity for us doing a record with Willie Nelson. And uh, as far as deceased, if if had the opportunity, would give anything in the world to do a do a tune, a song with Merle Haggard. I think we had a whole lot of folks wanting us to do the same thing that Alabama had done, you know, being a self-contained act and. And uh, of course, our, our producer at the time, Rick Hall, uh, man, he he wanted he wanted to produce Alabama so bad he couldn't stand it. Uh, so he found another one, as he as he thought, and uh, and that that's really kind of kind of where we had, had I guess our birth, the idea had came from. Uh, of course, we were. We were a self-contained band working in a club in Muscle Shoals, Alabama, and uh, doing a four-night-a-week gig, writing songs in the studios and doing demos during the week, and and uh, and then playing, you know, four nights a week and, and that type of stuff in the club, and and uh, you know, just trying to to get our feet wet, uh, trying to live on some dreams that we'd had when we was when we was younger, and and the next thing you know. Uh, Rick Hall and Robert Byrne gave us that opportunity in which to, you know, to go into the studio and to be able to do that, and we did.